All right, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use and operate a standard generator to power your house, your equipment, whatever you need. Let's get to it. All right guys, so this is a pretty standard generator. Nothing special, nothing amazing about this. So any generator you have is gonna be almost the exact same. So on a generator like this, you're going to have a main on off switch that is right here. So the generator will not start if this is in the off position. So the first thing to do is just, just flip the switch to on. Now that doesn't actually start the machine. All that does is allows the machine to start. All right, next you've got the main circuit breaker. So basically what this is, is if you plug something really big, into um, into any of this stuff and it basically pulls too much power, this circuit breaker is gonna flip and well, nothing will work. So right now it's, so I just flipped it to the off. So if I were to, even if I were to start the engine on this and plug something in, it wouldn't work because the main circuit breaker is off. So if this is flipped, it means you should check what's plugged in, make sure it's not glitching or short circuiting. And then once you've ensured that you're all good to go, you're gonna push this to the on position. So that should just stay in the on position. All right, and then next we've got the outlet reset. So under these flaps, You've got a really big plug, so this is for uh, industrial size hookups, so like dryers, welders, um, really big stuff that sucks a absolute ton of power is going to plug in here. And then over here, you've got your standard outlets. So these outlets are going to have your outlet reset right here, so that's a button. If that is, um, so when you want to reset, you need to check your outlet to make sure it's got power. You're just going to push this on either one. And then you've also got a reset inside here, so these buttons in here you look closely it says test and reset so if something flips and um, short circuits what's gonna happen is this is gonna basically flip inside the little outlet here so to reset it all you do is press in on the reset button you can also press the test button to make sure that it's not stuck all right so those are the basic that's the power panel on the generator so how do you get power to those outlets well Real simple, you start the engine on the machine. So let's look at how to do that. So this is a pretty standard little engine, which means it is carbureted, it's old school, and it can be a pain to start if it's cold out. And as you can see, it's kinda pretty nice and foggy and cold out. So might take a few pulls to get it started, which will be good so you guys can see how to do that. So, all right, so this is your air box. Uh, you don't really need to worry about that. What you do need to worry about is this right here. Now, this is your choke lever. Now, this one's not labeled very well, so um, so hopefully you can find it on your machine, but for this one, this is the choke lever. So what you're going to do when you first start it, you're going to flip this over. Now, usually this is labeled with like a little arrow that has like kind of a cross, um, across it, kind of a weird looking little symbol, but that means choke. Well, this one's not even labeled. So if you have this machine, just know that this is your choke lever. So to put the choke on, you're going to flip it over to the side like that. Also, just take a look when you're working. Uh, under here and make sure your fuel cutoff is in the on position. So you can see here, there's a little diagram that says, uh, fuel on off. So right now the fuel is on. So if the, if this were like that and you tried to start the machine, nothing's going to happen because as you can see, uh, that's the off position. So no fuel from the tank is going to get to the carburetor. So let's make sure that that's just make sure that that's on. I've seen people sit there for hours trying to fix their machine. Well, the fuel's cut off and no fuel's getting to their carburetor. All right. Now that you've got your choke on, your fuel is on, all you're going to do is give a few tugs on this guy. See if you can get the old girl started. So let's do that. All right. So like I said, we've got the engine switch to the on position. We got the choke on over here. We got the fuel on. So now we're going to pull the, the starter and see if we can get her to fire up. All right, guys, well, there you go. It's that easy to start these generators. Um, one thing to note, you'll notice I reached over here um, and the engine smoothed out. Well, that's because the choke, you only wanna leave the choke on for a minute or two um, because otherwise it's gonna kill the engine. You saw the engine was running really rough. Well, when you t that's because the choke is on, it's getting too much fuel. You turn the choke off and the engine smooths out and it's good to go. All right, so once you do that, your generator's running, you should have power to your outlets as long as the circuit breakers aren't blown. And uh, if they are blown, like you saw, you just reset them. It's that easy. All you do to turn the engine off is to flip the switch to the off position. Hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Love making these for you. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Maybe check out my Instagram. I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.